to get done the shed build this weekend for the pigs the little barn area that we set up for them and so we're gonna be redoing the entire thing we are gonna be making it instead of one big stall we're gonna make it two stalls but it's been a weekend that we haven't really been able to do much we had a bunch of stuff to do yesterday a lot of running around we had a birthday party to go to so kind of messed us up and actually yesterday was a really nice day so should have really just stood home to be honest and then today of course um it's just raining and it's not a good time to do a roof <laughs> you don't want to be messing with that in the rain another thing is our call our espresso machine broke um we've only had it for one year so we had to ship it back so now i'm stuck with boiling up some water right here we have a French press that we bought for now, just to until our machine comes back. And if you don't know, I love, love, love my coffee. So now I'm trying to perfect the French press way of making coffee. Haven't really gotten it down packed yet. I know a lot of you guys asked uh, about the t-shirts that we said that were going to be on sale and the hoodies. This is one of the shirts right here. And so what happened was... We ordered a big box. I forget how many exactly, but I know we spent $550 on t-shirts and we just got two hoodies, one for me, one for Erica, right? And so the guy that we purchased the shirts from um, and the hoodies, I used to deal with him back in the day with something else and he always did a very good job on um, product. Like he, I still have shirts that he did for me back, back in the day and he, and the shirts are still good till this day. We we made the purchase. Like I said, it was five hundred, like five hundred and fifty bucks, if I'm, I believe, for a box. And something told me. So when I picked them up, I just wasn't really too sure about the the material here. Um, oh, actually, this is a good example right here. So this was only washed one time. So number one, I didn't like how big he put the logo right here, right? It was just way too big and he he didn't ask i just i guess i assumed that he would place it the right size and he said that he did it four inches which is like the typical size that he does all his shirts but typically he wouldn't have like a big round logo it would typically be just like a name or something right here right so i feel like that was just that should have been his job to know i'm just a consumer so i don't know that you know what size he does it or i didn't know that i should have told him what size i wanted it i just felt like that was his job to ask and to just do what he thought looked right because this obviously does not look right <laughs> you know so um aside from the size of it being wrong the material wore off like very fast so i don't know if it was the ink he used or if you know, like as far as the quality of the ink, maybe he used to use a better quality than what he's using now. I'm not sure. Or maybe he didn't press it long enough. But nonetheless, this is what we have. As you can see, it was washed one time and it's ruined. So I'm going to show you some other shirts right here. So these shirts, same same thing. This is the back. This is the back of the shirt. This was washed maybe once or twice and as you can see look it's all ruined this is another shirt that we have here 
all ruined. So you get the point. All ruined. See? Erica and I just didn't feel comfortable selling shirts to you guys that's not good quality. One of the things that we that we want to do in the future and the goal is to not only just sell merchandise, but we want to give you guys good quality, right? We don't want to just give you uh, shirts that you wash once, they'll shrink, or you wash once and the logo will be faded off. We want to make sure that whatever we sell to you guys will be something that, you know, years down the line, you'll still be able to wear and it will still look good as if, you know, you just got it or whatever. So that's something that I'm very, very big on. What we've been doing with the shirts is just giving them to family and friends, really. Uh, people that, some of the friends and family that did place orders, we just gave it to them. We told them that they didn't have to give us any money. And it was just a loss that we took, you know? And we, and we also told them that they will probably just be able to wear the shirt one time, or if they choose to wear it more than once, just wear it to work. So what I've been doing, all the mediums, I'm a medium, and, sh and t-shirts so i've just been wearing them erica's a small she's been, she's just been wearing them just to be around the house or work outside or whatever because i've always ruined a lot of clothing working outside so now i just wear these um it's just a lesson learned so we are looking right now for a new manufacturer and i think i found one he's just a little far i really wanted to deal with somebody local i just haven't really found anybody everything is pretty pretty expensive I got somebody like in Pakistan or something, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about that. I would really rather have a manufacturer here locally just to spend money locally. But obviously with doing that, I would have to charge you guys a little bit more money than I would if I got it out in China or Pakistan. So I'm not really sure. Just, you know, let me let me know what you guys think about. So that's the story. That's why we haven't been able to give you guys any of the t-shirts that we said i know the one video we said to click the this click the link in the description and people were texting me and commenting saying where's the link there is no link so yeah guys we're, we're working on it now and hopefully soon we'll be able to get you guys something another thing i'm doing today is since we're not able to really do any work outside today i'm just basically trying to get some things done in the house, whatever I could do in the house. So like we've been saying for a while that we need new fencing, which we really do. And we love the Premier One fencing that we have, but I kind of want to go with the stranded, with the with just the wire, like the stranded wire approach. I'm just, I know I was reading reviews from the, for the, uh, sorry, I was reading reviews on the tractor supply post, T post, the plastic ones that the stranded wire will go through and people were, a lot of people complain that they just broke easily. I haven't gotten to the Premier One website uh, reviews yet. That's what I'm going to be doing next. But today we are ordering new fencing. We really need it, especially since we want to get this little shed barn uh, wrapped up and finished for Elizabeth so that she can be in there. She needs to get in there like ASAP if she is pregnant. And um, Erica really thinks that she is pregnant. So if she is... We gotta get her in there ASAP so that she can get these piglets out. We'll keep you guys updated. And this week, I will be getting that done. And I'll record it to show you guys how you can, you know, if you have a shed on your property, you could get that thing done and to transform it into a barn or into a chicken coop. You don't have to spend all this money on buying a new enclosure. If you already have something that's on the property that may just need some fixing up. So that's what we're working on now. But I'll keep you guys posted. Peace.